One of the things that constantly uh, comes up on the Instagram feed is we're giving an example of let's say a wrist exercise. Let's say we had a hand balancer and we determined that his his or her wrist doesn't have enough extension. They, they, they don't have the prerequisite extension for me to feel comfortable allowing them to practice uh, their handstands. So we'll give them an exercise in, in our system, for example, we might give them an exercise uh, called pails and rails to try to expand the capacity of the wrist to extend. And inevitably we'll be doing this wrist exercise and let's say that I'm kneeling, I'm on the floor, I'm doing the wrist exercise, and for some reason, I don't know why uh, people want to do this, but there'll always be someone in the comments will say, well, you're not in neutral spine, which is a really bizarre comment to me because it's as if people think that if, if you're in neutral spine, somehow that unlocks the mysteries of your human physiology and that all of the energies will flow better and that we'll be stronger and more neurologically blah, blah, blah. I've never, I've never seen research to justify uh, any of this. So if we think this through, if I have a, a restriction in the capsule, let's say the person had a problem with their carpal bones, they have a previous history of injury, their, their capsule's fibrotic, I check the capsule, the capsule's not allowing this motion to occur, I prescribe exercises. Now really, my exercises are, the inputs are directed at the capsule of the wrist. My intention with the exercise is to stimulate change in the capsule of the wrist to build more wrist capacity. That has nothing to do with whether or not the person's in neutral spine. 